Man, I want to say thank you guys for coming out. Thank you for waiting on me again. I always have y'all guys waiting. You know, I'll be slow motion back there because, man, when we put our life on the line in the ring, you know, we got to sit back and, 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 and thank God that we made it out of the ring. You know, it's, it's boxing, man. It's, it's, it's life or death in there at, at times. At least that's what you feel like. And getting hit in the head is definitely not cool. So when you can get out and go back and see your family is always a blessing. So, you know, we here though. What amazing fight though. What amazing fight. You know, one thing I'm, I'm happy about because I got a lot of questions um, uh, that I ask myself, you know, but one thing I'm happy about that this, this fight lived up to the hype. You know, many times we've seen fights being promoted and um, they talk a good game. You know, they got the hype going. And then when you get in the fight, it's, it's not as hype as the, the talking was. But in this fight, it actually was. You know, we did a great promotion. I think we both did a great promotion, um, promoting the fight. And um, the fight lived up to it, you know. Um, I don't know how he got up, though. <laughs> and I don't know why they didn't start to count earlier, you know. But we don't make no mistakes. Well, I mean, we don't make no excuses. I started overthrowing my my, uh, my right hand because I really wanted to get him out of there, you know, and start overshooting. It felt like he had baby oil on him, too. He was slippery, you know. But all in all, I had a lot of fun. I had, I had a great time, man. I hope y'all guys did as well. And um, and y'all will see me soon. Any questions? Beyonce, uh, over here. Uh, in the 12th round, when you dropped him, uh, you looked as though you were celebrating and you thought the fight was over. Was it hard for you to snap back into fight mode when he got up? Did it feel like your adrenaline was, was kind of out of your body? Man, it was, it was, man my, 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 uh, I was like, hmm, you know what I'm saying? Because I really thought I had him out of there. Because I follow, I follow, I, I hit him with the right hand and follow with the left hook. And, you know, everyone knows I got heavy hands and I hit hard. And I seen, I literally seen his man eyes rolling in the back of his head. And I seen Jack on the ground with him. You know, checking him, I'm like, it's over, you know. You know, only God knows how he got back up, you know. Um, but, like I said, I had fun, though. I, I don't make excuses. I enjoy the moment and um, go back to my family. That's the main thing about it, like, enjoying the moment, displaying my talent amongst the world where God blessed me with it, and going back to my family, man. That's, that's my happiest. Deontay, to your right, uh, congratulations on uh, a great performance in there. Do you feel in some way vindicated with how you fought, you know, for the critics of you, and you've had many throughout your career, the fact that you came in and fought against an undefeated champion who had, you know, the claim to the linear heavyweight title, and you did what you did. Do you feel vindicated even though you didn't win the fight? No, I mean, it, it, was, it, was, it was a great fight. You know, I, I don't want to take that away from the fight. You know, like I said, I got a few few questions that, that I asked myself that's, that's circulating around, you know, with the count and, you know, I seen my man Joe Haynes, they, they started, they got on him quick. He fit the ground, they started counting, you know what I mean? But Fury was laid out and it's like they hesit, hesitated a little bit or whatever. But like I said, I take man from it, you know. We both going home happy, you know, and that's what it's all about. Two fighters whooping each other ass and being able to, to hug each other at the end and tell each other we love each other. Although, you know, with the build up to the fight, we just wanted to kill each other, you know what I mean? And that's the magic part about it, being able to go in there and beat each other up and then at the end and say, I love you, bro. You have a great day, I'll see you soon, you know? Just to follow up to with one other question about the tactics, you said that you know you were getting uh, overshooting on the right hand. Did you feel like you failed to go to the body enough, like if you had gone to the body that that might have opened the headshot for you? Yeah, that, that was definitely the game plan as well, too, um, to go to the body a little bit more. But um, I got out of the game plan a little bit because I was trying to get him out of there. And I know when I tried to get a guy out of there, it never happens. It never happened. I know that. That's a lesson That's a lesson I learned a long time ago, and I just resolved back to it. I could never, you know, get out of there. I wanted to get him out. I wanted to get him out. I guess it was just the building up to the fight, you know, just really just wanted to knock him out, you know, for the fans, first pay-per-view, just, you know, all that stuff, all that stuff take accountable, but like I said, I'm a man, I'm a man of few excuses. You know, I'm very happy 
um, with the performance. I'm, um, I'm happy with the outcome, and, and uh, we live to see another day and do it again for you guys. You know, the fans win. The fans win in this one. You know, this is a hell of a fight to really just determine who's the best in the heavyweight division. And the heavyweight division is just on fire right now. You know, I think that I think this takes it even more farther um, to the top. Deontay, quick question, one question for you and one question for Shelly Finkel. Deontay, after 36 minutes against Tyson Fury, you said he was very slippery. Mm -hmm. Do you think in a rematch it will be easier to hit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll definitely be more easier um, for me to hit him because uh, I'll be more patient, you know, and, and throw my punches. You know, because when I replay, like, when I was in a fight, I'm like, when I'm overshooting myself, I could feel, it's like, when I was shooting the when I was shooting the right hand, it ain't like he was ducking all the way down. It was like right here in the pocket, and I'm like, why am I not hitting? Why I'm overshooting my punches? But like I said, I was I was too anxious. I wanted to really get him out of there, and uh, I think my emotions got the best of me. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't think I know my emotions got the best of me. Wanted to just really get him out of there, and and you know, some of the game plan went out the window, and I resulted to just trying to knock him out. Shelly. Quick question, uh, Shelly, right here. Wait. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, he's on the light. Shelly, quick question. Uh, do you believe that a Wilder Fury rematch takes precedent, and with that, do you believe an Anthony Joshua fight basically gets tabled for 2019, being as realistic as you can be? At this moment, we don't know what it's going to be next. If the, this other promoter calls tomorrow, like he said, we'll hear. If not, it's fine. Um, I believe the um, fight right now with Fury is a stronger fight and probably more logical to happen because, look, he still dropped the guy twice. Well, you live right now. That last, five, <laughs> five, that last round, I was surprised he got up. I ran to the corner and it was over. And um, I'm not sure that the other side is still not afraid of him. Deontay, uh, what, was, what was your thinking? I know in press row the scores were all over the map. What were you thinking the scores were as you entered the 12th round? Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, the thing that happened on the 12th, you've wanted to walk in the footsteps of the giants of the heavyweight division. Do you feel like what you accomplished in the 12th round truly makes you feel like you've arrived? Um, with, the, with the score, you know, I was just listening to my team uh, about you know, if I'm up or down or, or whatever. So I, I really wasn't thinking nothing about the score. I was just looking at what was going on in the ring, and uh, I felt with the two knockdowns that, that that put me in the head no matter what, especially the knockdown in the 12th round, because I felt like the fight was very close um, leading up into the 12th round, but the two knockdowns, I felt like it would it would have put me over top, you know? And uh, what was the second question? Just your, your legacy, I mean, one of the- Oh, goals. yeah, yeah. I, I definitely think, you know, it puts, it puts me amongst them. You know, there's still a lot of work to be done. You know, I'm still building, you know? I think boxing fans and the fans in general makes it make you know they they hold high expectations for us in these times and days because everybody always dwelling and living in the past and they can't move on from the past because we can make the future better we can make the present better right now we can make it but it, it's so many negative it's so much negativity towards it you know how a how a fighter fights and if he fighting this and fighting that you know. I always blame a lot of things on the people that's involved, that's heavily involved in boxing. They always criticizing a fighter, you know, for certain things instead of just just praising them. Because you get a lot of fans that come into boxing, just like today. There's a lot of fans that, you know, never kept up with boxing until this fight. You know, this fight got bigger and bigger, bigger, and even got bigger in the in the end. And if you hear hearing commentators talking crazy or somebody, oh, he ain't number four, nobody, he ain't got, you know, he can't box or whatever, because styles make fights and we all have different styles. And I always say that boxing would be boring if everyone had one-on-one -on -one fundamental boxing, being able to throw a proper, you know, uh, jab, proper right hand, proper left hook. What would be so special about fighters if everyone was doing that? You know, with styles, that's, that's what make boxing so unique, make it so special. Because you want to mix this style against this style, and if you want to, if, and if styles make great fights, why criticize it? You know, I know my style, I know what it is, and it ain't, it's not going nowhere. You know, and I don't see why. You know, I think I don't know, man. It's 
It's, it's gonna take a, it's, it's still work, but I think it's, it's, it's in great progress. We're on the, we're on the right road. And uh, not only just me, but there's a lot of guys, man. The heavyweight division is well, well alive. And um, with this fight, it, it definitely puts it even more at the top, you know. Deontay, over here. Hey, Deontay, the regular performance. How did Tyson Fury's boxing ability meet your expectations? Yeah, he did. We, we knew Tyson could box, you know, to be a, to be a, a 6'9 guy. Uh, we never, we never uh, took that for granted. We always took him serious. We knew he could box. And um, for me, it was just, like I said, I was, I got out of the